Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah, just as a, uh, some points of reflection for myself, inshallah, that wanted to share that, inshallah, through these gatherings, when we hear the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the remembrance of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that we should inculcate in our hearts a deep desire to return to Allah in all of our affairs, and that to keep Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost in all of our affairs, and that our consciousness, consciousness should be directed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first and foremost in all of our affairs, that one of the uh, third century masters of Baghdad, Amr ibn Uthman al Maki, rahimahullah, he says, min al He says, There are three things that are from the signs of the people that Allah loves. Fi to return to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every circumstance. Fi kulli and to be indigent and in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every circumstance. Ta'ala fi kulli and to be uh, to be confident and have a good opinion in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in every single circumstance. And so that if we realize these realities of turning to Allah in a state of need and a state of trust and confidence in Him, then inshallah we'll start to witness His Lordship. We'll start to witness Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's Lordship which is one of the blessings even of trials, the difficulties that we face in our lives, is they, they are opportunities to see Allah's power, to see Allah's Lordship. And we do not ask for difficulties, but we realize during those difficulties that Allah Ta'ala is our Rabb and we are the Abd. And that one of our masters says, al shuhud al He says that your slavehood to Allah is to actually witness His Lordship. That our slavehood to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to witness His Lordship. Not just to realize it, but to see it. See the magnitude and the power of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that this, inshallah, is a way for us to approximate ikhlas. We can approximate sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through realizing His Lordship in all of our life circumstances. And that if we can become people of ikhlas and we can continue to cultivate that ikhlas, inshallah, day in and day out then we might fall under the category of those people that are of perpetual ikhlas. And in that light, one of the tabi'een makhul, rahimahullah, he says, مَا أَخْلَسَ عَبْدٌ أَرْبَعِينَ يَوْمًا إِلَّا ظَهَرَتْ يَنَابِيرَ الْحِكْمَةِ مِنْ قَلْبِهِ عَلَى لِسَانِهِ He says that no servant is sincere and genuine with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, realizing Allah's Lordship for 40 days straight, except that uh, wisdom springs of wisdom will gush forth from his heart upon his tongue except springs of wisdom will gush forth from his heart upon his tongue and then when that happens the person becomes a person of dhikr and then when they become a person of dhikr then they've been granted the proclamation of sainthood as Abu Ali al Daqat says at dhikru manshur al-wilaya he says remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the proclamation that Allah loves you فَمَنْ وُفِّقَ لِلذِّكْرِ فَقَدْ عُعْتِيَ الْمَنْشُورِ so whoever is granted tawfiq to make remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then they've been granted the proclamation asserting that they are friends of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَمَنْ سُلِبَ الذِّكْرِ فَقَدْ عُزِلْ but whoever the dhikr is removed from then they have been demoted and, and removed from that station and so that people, to be people of dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and this is on that light our Prophet taught us sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the hadith Qudsi that Allah ta'ala himself says, Ana indatlani abdi bi, that I am in the opinion of my servant of me, wa ana ma'ahu idha dhakarani, and I am with him when he makes remembrance of me. I am with him when he makes remembrance of me. And there are some people in this community that they make dhikr just for this ma'iyah. They make remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala just to be, have the witness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that this is the illumination that is in their hearts. This is illumination in their hearts and that as we become people of dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then the light will grow in our hearts and this is something that we live in a time that does not know light. We live in a time that all it knows is the material element of the world and it does not real, realize the spiritual reality of human beings. But if we can become people of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, returning to Him in all of our circumstances, then we will start to reflect something of light that not only for ourselves but others can see. That ma min nurin fil qalb illa wa ma'ahu rahmatu min Allah ta'ala bi qadri dalik. Hakim al Tirmidhi says there's never a light in the heart except that with that light is a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commensurate to that light. Fa so so long as a servant is making remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then mercy is descending upon that servant like rain but when he is unaware of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then he is in a state of a drought 
when he is unaware and heedless of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then he is in a real drought. And so these types of gatherings that we can experience the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can the, the group thinker, especially when there's a powerful angelic presence, inshallah, we should make a deep intention to leave these gatherings as people of remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and as people of this illumination, and as people of this ikhlas, and as people of of this uh, of this uh, this turning to Allah in every circumstance. And so, inshallah, we ask Allah to accept from us. Muhammad and Nabi Rami wa alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Thank you.